First up, the Times newspaper tomorrow exclusively report that Nigel Farage may be planning to sweep in and save the Conservative Party if they're obliterated at the election. So what does the future hold for Britain's most talked about politician? And whatever the outcome, what should Nigel Farage do after the general election? Continue to grow Reform UK or scrap it and save the Tories? And at expense, I just wonder whether if they don't perform strongly mm. on the 4th of July, <clears throat> reform won't be long for this world on the 5th. I tend to think, actually, it's a very... I mean, make or break election is perhaps one way of putting it. They, they can't survive without Nigel Farage. But at the same time, I think it's a very interesting thing that they decided not to stand as a candidate because they couldn't just be the Nigel Farage party. They need to be able to show to people whether or not they can survive on their own two feet. I don't think that they can, but they needed that opportunity uh, to show everybody. Um, I think you're right to be sceptical about their chances. How many seats might they get? I think there's a chance maybe Lee Anderson uh, gets uh, his seat in Nashville because he's not Labour or the Tories. Uh, uh, but will Richard Tice get one? I'm not sure. Can Ben Habib get one? I'm not sure either of them really has uh, the name recognition, the brand recognition uh, to do that. So it's and an And they don't have question. the cash or the infrastructure they either, don't, do they? They don't. And I have to be honest, they haven't given me the impression of a particularly well-organised uh, campaign. They're, they're, they they're not strategic. Like, you have to say, to a degree, the Liberal Democrats are actually quite good at focusing resources on seats where there is a degree of apathy or anger. Uh, what Reform have done is they've put their best people into those kind of seats, but they're not necessarily focusing absolutely everything that they have, given, as you say, they don't have the resources to stand nationwide. I don't feel that they're doing uh, that particularly well. They've pulled quite well up to now, mm. fairly respectably, given that they're a new party. However, they are also an insurgent right-wing party. Given what's in front of them, given how badly the Tories are doing, they ought to be doing better at this stage if they have a chance of surviving. So what does the future hold for Nigel Farage? It's not going to be part of reform. How badly will the Tories be damaged at the election? And even if they were in that sort of scorched earth territory, 60, 70, 80 odd seats, would they accept Nigel Farage? I'm not sure. And Diana Moran, you must be disappointed because I think that you're quite attracted to the Reform UK offer. I was very attracted to it. Two months ago, I mm. was talking away about it like crazy, thinking that's where my vote's going to go. And now there's Nigel disappearing off the scene, which is, for me, very disappointing. It'll be interesting to see what he does do, if he does do, in America. But as you say, what the devil's he going to be doing after that? Mm. Well, what should he do, given that you're an admirer of him? Uh, do you think that he should try to build Reform UK after the election as, as the main party of the right in this country? Or does he ditch that project and fix the Tories? Does he de establish that brand once again in, in a you know, reimagined way? Possibly that's what he should do. Mm. Try to help fix the Tories afterwards. Is he the man to do it? Is he the man to do it? Oh, that's the man who's going to do... Yes, if anybody's going to do it, he's going to do it. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, well, I, don't think, I don't think she's going to do that. What should Nigel do after the election? We know him to be a, a colossal... Uh, yeah. Political force. Yeah, oh, he's, he, Nigel Farage is he is a disruptor. Mm. He's a maverick. He's not a party team player. So I don't think he's going to go to the Tories and do anything there. I think he is a great campaigner, even though I, I don't always agree with everything he says. But he is a very shrewd. He's got a lot of political knowledge. Mm. And I think he's got enough political knowledge to know to stay out of somewhere like the Conservative Party. So I think mm. what he will do, he will con continue his campaigning that he does. Stay on GB News. Yeah, well, he, oh, did, yes. say, he did say on Question Time on yeah. um, Thursday night when... Uh, mm. Uh, what's his name? Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan yeah. was having a go at him. Mm. He did say, you know, I've got a, a, a show, uh, a daily show, that I'm really proud of and I'm sticking with that. He did say that, actually. So, What do you think, Benedict Nigel, should do after the election? This is a man, the most consequential politician of his generation, mm. that's never been in the House of Commons or achieved high office. I think... Somebody who I respect a great deal in the media ecosystem and who has got involved in politics before says you can change a lot more as a commentator than you can necessarily as an MP or certainly as a lord, as a lone voice, yeah. if you have a platform. And I think that Nigel Farage has a very large platform. He, you know, he manages to incentivise a lot of people wherever he goes. Yes. And I think that possibly 
that would be a more valuable thing than mm. attempting to sort of break into the Tory party, because that's what he would have to do. Even now, you can see, in terms of the candidates that are being put forward for the Tories, in some of the safer seats where current incumbent MPs are sitting down, it's wets, it's one nationist, it's those sorts of people, it's the sort of people who have been working in Number 10 for Rishi Sunak, for Jeremy mm. Hunt, those sorts of people, the bag carriers, the spads, those are the people being parachuted into those safe seats. You can very much see what the, object uh, what the objective is there. It's to make sure that when the Tories do lose, and they will lose, that it's those sorts of people who are still in charge, who mm. still set the message. And I think Nigel Farage would find it very difficult to break into that kind of a party. I also think a party that decides that that's the direction it wants to go down uh, is doomed. I think he would command a lot more influence from a media perspective, actually, for the next five years, giving his, mm. his opinion, rather than trying I, to fix a party that clearly yeah. doesn't want to be fixed. I think, he, I think he's going to be an important voice in politics und, with a Labour government. Mm. That's where I mm. think he's going to be very... You think he'll be like the official opposition? Yes, I, I mm. do. I do think that because mm. uh, I think Labour's got a really tough five years. They've got no money. Policy... I don't, we don't know. Culture wars is taking over policy, which means nothing's going to change, apart from people are going to get angrier in the streets. And I think Nigel Farage, who has already got a, a platform and a personality, mm. I think that's where he, that's what he will do.